Imagine waking one day and finding out that you are the last person on earth. What actions would you take? What will happen next? For this would be a tainted paradise, a world in which you could do anything you wanted. It's a paradoxical existence, a realm where limitless possibilities await your command, yet your dominion is a solitary one, like a ruler without subjects. Join us as we embark on a journey into the solitude, challenges, and profound responsibilities that come with being the sole survivor of our species and discuss what would happen if you were the last human on Earth. Watch this video till the end, because you don't want to miss out on the last one. Coming to terms. Once the initial shock, grief, and bewilderment subside, the loss of loved ones, and the sheer experience of it all, how quickly would you, whose practical skills extend no further than wiring a plug and putting up some shelves, be able to adapt to a world where you are responsible for every aspect of your survival? Survival experts have a priority of necessities. At the top are water, food and shelter the shelter, in a world full of empty buildings, would be no problem. But what about sustenance? Enjoy the good things while you can. While a person can endure up to six weeks without food, a mere six days without water can be fatal. With everyone gone, no electricity and no maintenance, the pumping stations and treatment works that supply water to the taps would soon stop working. There would be a large amount of fresh water stored in domestic tanks, but this would go stale quite rapidly. Actually, go for the exotic fruits first. If your mangoes and bananas are imported from overseas, chances are they'll be hard to get to. So eat them while you can, and enjoy every last bite. Secure your fuel source. You might think that with no one stopping you, you could go anywhere. But not so fast. All those abandoned cars, boats, and planes you see lying around will be useless in about two years when their fuel goes stale. Guess you'll be sticking around. But for how long? Find shelter. If water, food, and shelter are your basic needs, shelter would be the easiest to come by. You'd literally have a world of homes to choose from. But be careful where you settle down. Cities would become dangerous, since without proper maintenance, they'd start to fall apart pretty quickly. Nature's elements, rain, frost, and heat, would take their toll. Rot and mold would become widespread and vegetation would crack through concrete and break through glass. But even if you were to fight back against nature's reclamation of the land, all it takes is one bolt of lightning to start a citywide fire, and you can't call the fire department. So run for the hills. Protect yourself. But even the country isn't all that safe. First of all, there are predators you need to defend against. Wild dogs, feral cats, bear, but you'd only have to worry about them as long as you could still breathe. There are more than 400 nuclear power plants in the world. And once their automated safety systems began to fail without human supervision, there would be meltdowns across the planet, rendering many regions simply uninhabitable. Secure your food source. In terms of food, the city would be your best bet. Supermarkets have enough canned and frozen food to last you for decades. Whereas in the country, crops and livestock would start to dwindle without proper care or protection from predators. But if natural is more your style, you'd have to go back to the old ways of hunting with a spear or a bow, since ammunition would be limited and harder to come by. Maybe you could grow your own little vegetable garden, but that would cut into your water resources. You need water to survive. Without other humans, you'd be without electricity. Water pumping stations and treatment works would shut down, and the fresh water kept in reservoirs would go stale quite quickly. So you could rely on bottled water, and you'd probably have thousands of liters to go through, but eventually, you'd have to learn how to purify your own. Get smart. Of course, you would have to teach yourself a lot of things, but lucky for you, you've got a lot of time on your hands and millions of books out there with all the information you need to survive effectively on your own. So, while it might be hard at first, you could technically survive as the last human on Earth. But would you really want to? 
the threat of predators. Now that you are the last and only person left, it will be much harder for you to stay on top of the food chain in nature. Animals will eventually find their way into the cities, and without humans to keep them in check, even the domestic animals will start growing increasingly wild. There is a good chance that you might have to deal with these wild animals as you try to stay alive in this new world. Medicines and First Aid With all the doctors gone, your health is now in your own hands. Indeed, medicines will eventually expire, but it would still be a good idea to stock up on as many essential medicines as possible, especially vitamins and immunity boosters. Immunity boosters will help you strengthen your immunity for the future as well. Unlike medicines that will eventually expire, band-aids and bandages and disinfectants have a much longer shelf life and will last you much longer. Teach yourself the various ways of tying bandages around different kinds of wounds and injuries. Doing this will highly increase your chances of survival as the last person standing. Nuclear Threats There are over 400 nuclear power plants, and these energy plants need to be constantly maintained. However, these plants will be left unsupervised with all the humans suddenly gone. As a result, they will render many places on Earth inhabitable because of deadly radiation. Most of us will agree that we would not be able to keep ourselves alive for too long. However, can we be sure that no human being could ever survive as the last person on Earth? Theoretically, the answer is no. Given how absurd the idea is, we hardly ever bother ourselves with the thought of surviving as the last person on Earth. Humans have braved many adversities and are gifted with a brain superior to any other being on the planet. It is often said that our true potential shows itself when our backs are against the wall. It is then that our survival instinct kicks in. This instinct of self-preservation is stored in our very DNA, and it is something we have inherited from our earliest ancestors. When faced with one of the biggest challenges, one can imagine, a human will have to fall back on their physical skills and their brain. We were not blessed with tough fur, sharp claws, or heightened instincts like most animals in the wild, but we were blessed with the ability to think and imagine. No matter how abstract it may appear, these abilities, granted to no other species on Earth but humans, have allowed us to reach the top as the most powerful and influential beings on the planet. That's all for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Let us know your thoughts in the comments section below. If you haven't already, then don't forget to subscribe and press that like button. Also, hit the bell icon, so you can never miss new updates from us. Stay safe, and we will meet you in the next one.